e te tī e te tā e te hunga mā taketake mai nei uh, nā whakata Māori i whakaputa i tēnei whakapāhotanga uh, nō reira kia koutou uh, kua mā taketake mai tēnā koutou katoa uh, ko tēnei te kemi tua rua o tēnei rā this, this is the uh, 2022 uh, Turbo Touch uh, Secondary School Championships uh, atu i te te piki auahi o, o Henderson uh, te uru o Tāmaki e mi nei kia koutou katoa this is our, our second game for the day. We've just had a really awesome start to the day. Uh, and we are staying with our mixed section. This time it's a mixed section A. Uh, and we're going to be treated by what sounds like to us a couple of new schools, at least into this space. They may not be new to, to Turbo Touch, but they are new uh, to this whakataitai. E mi nei ki te kaukaoroa pā tētere, Putaruru College. We have a team list here. Uh, Ine ki Tefano Davy, e Turuna Natangata, e Rarangi uh, Mai Nei. A real Fano sport, and it's awesome to see our Fano from from the South Waikato. Waikato make the venture up to to uh, to Henderson today to partake in our, our festivities. And ki a ki Tefano no no na ti hine na pu hinui tonu ki Akamo High School no mai haramai a hoki mai a ki tene fakatai tai. Uh, awesome to see Akamo High School back here at the 2022 uh, tournament as we see again. A bit of a whānau influence there. The whānau pain e mihi nei kia koutou. Ai mai takitaki mai nei tēnei rā. So it looks like a bit of a growing sport, not only in, in the South Waikato, but of course there's been a lot of work in Turbo Touch done in, in the Whangarei area. Uh, Sands, what can you tell us about, about Turbo Touch up in the north? Yeah, it's pretty popular up in the north. They have their regional secondary schools championship as well. And um, I think last year, or pre-COVID, they had 80-odd teams that competed in that. So Kamo, this will be no new sport to Kamo. Uh, as far as Pertoruru goes, they've had some development down there as well in the, in the north of Wellington. So there used to be a competition that was played down there too. So... This will be a really interesting game. There's, there's no clear favourites, that's for sure. We've got off to a pretty cracking start, Carmel High School, with the first uh, try of the game. Both in the first game and this game, we've got off to some pretty hot starts. Heke ana te wera wera. It's, 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 it's been heating up. It's, it's got off to a really cracking pace. E piri pāwa rātou i tēnei i o rātou rautaki so you can see that they're really applying a tight pressure style defense uh, when they're playing today unable to escape uh, the grasp uh, of the Putaruru defense that time engari me hoki rātou ki era o o nga paipiro engari a warea ke they are unable to to convert that into points uh, kua, kua tu hapa ia he was uh, unfortunately gone into an offside space before he was able to ground the ball so as we saw with the first try, much like that one that didn't quite go to hand, balance. Balance is really important. I'll just touch on that offside rule too, Harley. Just the, the red area, you see a rectangular box. That's the scoring zone. And if the foot goes in before the ball, that's going to be deemed to be offside. And the referee will indicate that by crossing his arms in front of his chest, which is the same same signal I understand for touch for dummy half mm. so signals the same but the ruling is different in this game yeah and of course we can see that there's space along the outside or on, along beyond the the pipeto or the active zone which allows I guess it, it brings in a different dynamic to the sport where you can have players jumping over the space just like that and it creates more space for the attacking team and a, a bit more of a wheel a bit more of a challenge for our defending team as well yeah, absolutely. Well, another important rule is that the end being attacked is the end that defence and attackers can't go into. Mm. But the end not being attacked, players are actually allowed to run through, and it'll be interesting to see if everybody's aware of that today. We have an intercept there, so that, that player could have scored that touchdown then. There was no need to pass two times because he'd intercepted it. Yeah, Just, some, some good defence there from the... Uh, Putaruru, Putaruru side just to, just to cause a little bit of confusion uh, he a wanga wanga a ia a i tērā i tērā wā he was a little bit confused in that space about whether or not to, to go a zone or look for the pass 
Uh, Cumwell High School now back on attack. One other thing that's really exciting to see is the variations of different styles of passing. We made mention in our first game about, I guess, the different influences from different sports. We've got a bit of touch, obviously. We've got a little bit of uh, maybe some volleyball skills, a bit of netball. And those attributes come into the sport in the different ways that the ball gets passed around the court too. Absolutely, Harley. I think that's another beauty for this sport too, for all ages. You can pass any way you want. Mm. Gridiron throw, we call it the Hail Mary from one end to the other. And then, as you say, you've got your touch pass, flick-ons with your volleyball passes, netball, mm. anything goes. Very little rules in this game. Speaking of rules, our Kaiwawa and Mihine Kia Kōrua, uh, that looks like it was an offside call against the attacking team, so Huatu Te Poro, Ki A Putaradu, Engari E Rua, Ngā Pā, Huatu Anō, Te Poro. So really important, I think, for not only the players, the sidelines, but even for us as, as Kai Whakataki is just to making sure that we are following along with our referee because with a fast-paced game, we've got to be able to keep up with it. Plenty of action going on here. Looks like another two-hopper, another offside call against the defending team, so Putaruru. Oh, kei te pai, kua pirora atau. They've got their first try of the day and a great little flick on. We spoke about that again in the first game, how important those flick-ons can be. Uh, kia pere pere, kia tahirua. Uh, uh, o te tahi, te tahi atu o to tima. So looking for those little flick-ons between your team really helps open up some space around that active zone. Now, e toru nga wahanga uh, i tēnei whakataitai o te rānei. So uh, we have three sections that have been played today. Uh, ko te tahi, ko, kei kunai, ko, ko te hanumi. Uh, so the next section, ko te tahi atu ko ngā wahine, ko te tahi atu uh, ko, ko ngā tāne. Uh, e toru nga wahanga ko putaina, a e mātou i tēnei a o te ruanga o te nera. So we'll be able to see action from all three of our greats today. But as you can see, in the courts uh, beyond court one, there's action going on uh, right throughout all six courts today at the Trust Arena. So awesome to see such full courts. So awesome to see our auranga tahi out there. Uh, kia kore kore ai rātou. Yeah, it's great to see the return to play, Harley, after having so many events, especially for secondary schools that have been cancelled over the last couple of years. Mm. And it's really increased our participation for this event. I think we have more teams today than we've ever had in this competition before. Ooh. A great look there. kāore ia i te te pōro. Hoto anō uh, ki a Putaruru. Kei a te mana, kei a te kōro. So, position seems to change very quickly in the game of Turbo Touch. Uh, what kind of advice would you offer, I guess, in that space where transition happens? It's really important, I guess, to stay on your toes. Would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, quick play is good, but you must have quick play with composure as well. So, mm. one thing we do try to encourage is hard out crazy on defence and composure on attack. Mm. Kia tau te mauri i te wā e, uh, e, e mau pōro ana. So when we've got the ball, making sure that we, we stay calm and composed. So the defence I've been really impressed with by Putaru, they've just really uh, struggled to try and get it out of their half. Great pass. Unlucky. Yeah. Great yes. court positioning there. An underrated aspect of uh, of all sports, I guess, is, is the kākahu or the uniforms. Uh, really, really like uh, Putaruru's, Putaruru's uh, I guess, their kōru pattern on the front. Would love to have a kōru with them about what that means to them and to their kura. Oh. What's oh. our call here from Mount Kaiwawa? Uh, kei a, kei a rawa te mana. We're just going to have a little kōrero he wānanga. I think uh, they may discuss, did he step into the zone before placing the ball? Uh, kei te tika tēnā, I think they got the right call there. Just from our perspective, I think he did have a foot in the offside area. Mm -hmm. 
So we've seen in this game as well already some of the big passes from one end to the other. At times it's come off, at other times uh, Kauri and Mote Porter, they're unable to kind of secure or, or maintain position. And I guess that's part of the risk that comes with, with it, just like that one. Yeah, absolutely. I think sometimes when defence is really, really tight, sometimes it may be the only option to flick it right up the other end. Mm. Oh, nice, he got through the gap there. Well, he can score. I don't know if he knows this. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, Ai. beautiful. Their opportunity now. Nothing was quite on. Pitaruru were on to them. Great D, but quick tap. Now, of course, unlimited substitutions as well. So we've got our teams along the sideline. They can come in when they... Oh, unlucky e hoa. Kei te tuhapa ia. So, uh, as we mentioned, players can come on and off, and that's a bit of a, a tactical advantage as well. You want to really time your, your substitutions well, because sometimes it can open up as a bit of an opportunity for, for your team. Ooh. Oh, unlucky there. Mm. Just a very, very slight fumble. Me ata haere, koutou, i te wai patu patu ane i te Make sure that we're looking after the ball when we're, ta we're tapping it. A kia whakatikaina. Oh, lovely. A te kai wā wā o te mahi tērā. So making sure that not only are we focused when we're tapping the ball, uh, but the referees are going to pick up on that and make sure that it's getting corrected too. We've got a close game on here, Harley. Mm, two all. Ko wai kahua, ko wai katohu. A ko wai katoa. This is a really great example of the basics of turbo touch. You can see they're quite disciplined about getting back two metres from the tap mm. and they're listening to the referees about the two second call. If the referees call use it, the two seconds is up and defence may advance. That's right, un they're unfortunate on that account, but what we can see is that Kamo is spreading the court, went on attack and it creates some opportunities through the middle of the court uh, for, for the bat-ons and all of that kind of mahi uh, to, to create opportunities to score. You'll notice that when play goes out of court, it resumes play just inside the court rather than needing to be taken outside. And play just goes on. They don't have to wait for a whistle or anything. It's another quite fun aspect of the game. Okay, wahu e te paitaha, unfortunately. Although the try was on, uh, they were unable to secure it just because this foot was over the line. I whakahuki a rātou. I te pōro, engari. Kei konei a putaruru te pōro. Oh, Make sure that we're not standing inside the active zone when we've got the ball. Otherwise, the referees will pick up on that. Kite tahi, kite roa, kite toru, kua piro. The Pai Te Rā Mahi Akamo High School, they've done a really good job of working the, the ball down the, down the court. Let's see what Putaruru can do to respond. That was a beautiful try, that was the pop and go. Mm. Created the overlap straight as he got in front of his player mm. and then a quick offload. Fago hoki ara tau ki te ki te popo tango o te kote nei. So they're heading back to halfway. There was a makatomuri, a, a bit of a touch and pass there that the referee picked up on. So Kamo High School heading back down with the with the ball now. Oh, pai pai te na piro. Again, just the little one two stuff flick ons. Uh, are really starting to pay off for, for Kamo High School and I think that comes back to uh, not only knowledge of the game but sort of knowledge of, of each other and, and each other's strengths. Oh, Paiten Naruku. Great commitment there. Yeah, yeah, that was a great try. Nice not, always, not always the softest landing, not always the softest <laughs> surface to have a dive on. Another aspect of the game actually, Harley, you can play on any surface, indoors, outdoors, 
car park, sand, <laughs> beach, you know. You get yeah. a, a little space, netball sized approximately, and away you go. Oh, get out one on out, guy, wow, wow. Oh, Pai Tenna, that was awesome balance there from, uh, from Patanadu to be able to secure that. We're back even at four each. This game's back and forth. Kowai Katoa, who's going to win? Oh, a tough decision here. Yes. But it looks like we've got a, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like a turnover here. Now, of course, in the event of a draw in, in these round robin games, uh, the, the draw will stand. But in the round robin games later, um, so we'll go into extra time in any of the finals games. And we'll talk you through that as it happens later on in the day. Oh, great touch there by the Potoruwuru team player. And right at the sort of the end of the game, this is where the really you really want to sort of cling on to uh, to to the attacking players. If you're on defence, me pity power, uh, Koto. One two pass, looking to team up. Okay, here you Oh, Ngari. Kuataka. You can see them working hard for each other. Kaitoara, where we are the supporters, where where's the rest of the teammates? Oh Tata. But it looks like uh oh it's hard to tell. It looked like the, the ball might go back to Carmel. Yeah, we've got a recount here. So there might have been a hand to ball from, from Putaru there. A lot of pressure, I guess, gets placed on the attacking teams, most likely by themselves when they're in that space. It's we spoke about calm and, and composure, and this is really the space and time where you want to stay calm and compose, even try, or even score. The referee just checking to see whether a touch was made. But it looks like no try is given. Oh, great game. So our hooter's gone. We're just going to wait for our kai wa wa. Looks like we've got a draw. Pai tēnei mahi o enei tīmei e rua. Kamo High School, Putaruru College, Faki Te Fa, Motonu Mai e Tiwi. What a great game. We've got more action coming up very shortly. The 2022 Secondary School Champs for Turbo Touch. Play it, love it.